Hi everyone, I'm Charlie Nicholas, I'm the owner at Endo Perfection. I've just put together a quick video just to show you how we use our VFR reciprocating files. Today we're going to use the Endo Reality 3D printed teeth. Um, these are great teeth to, to demonstrate uh, and to practice our hands-on Endo with. Um, really lifelike, uh, it's, it's a, a hard based acrylic and it, it gives a, a, really, a really nice feel, really similar to dentin actually. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on this Disto buckle as, as part of our demo. Uh, initially, uh, as in, in real life, we're just going to negotiate that Disto buckle just using our size 10 hand file. We progress that along um, as we would normally, just really, really gentle, little, small watch wind movements. And the idea in, in, uh, uh, with the patient is you, you want to get this down to the point at which uh, your estimated working length uh, you've gauged from your pre-op x-ray. Once we get to that stage, we attach our apex locator, take it to the zero point. In these teeth, we just look for the far just exiting um, visually just through the end of the root canal there. Slide the stopper down to the reference point. Here it's the distal buckle cusp tip. Uh, once we just slide that out, measure it, that becomes the zero point reading. We then standardly take about half a millimeter off that and that becomes our working length. Here we'd uh, going to do a guide path not using a size 15 hand file as we would um, often but we've got some VFG files these are a guide path file it's a 1602 but it's a rotary file so it allows us to uh, get a really really nice really predictable guide path which is absolutely fundamental to then whatever rotary system we then go and do so we're going to measure that this is our motor uh, we run these guide path files at 250 RPM, uh, one and a half Newton centimeter torque, just to give it a little bit of protection. And it's just as simple as introducing it into the canal. We have the file already running uh, as we introduce it in. It's, it's gently introducing it in, tilly meter resistance, then come back, a little bit more resistance, and gradually find that uh, this one gets down to the working length pretty easily. That's a really nice file to use. And uh, we can do a little bit of brushing. We can help improve our straight line access. Uh, just brush towards the name of the root canal. That's fundamental. That um, allows us to, to remove dentin in a really safe, a safe way. This is just using some sodium hypochlorite just to irrigate, make sure we get rid of all the debris. And uh, then we'll always make sure that whenever we do any irrigation, after we've ir irrigated, we're going to go back in with our patency file. That's that size 10 file. Uh, measured still to the zero point so we know that's going all the way to the to the root canal terminus so we're not getting any blockages uh, at the end of the root canal which is really important and we'll just sneak that just a little bit long and we can see that everything is nicely uh, nicely clean nicely free from blockages this is our VFR file it's a size 25 uh, we put it on the uh, same settings that you would run, run um, other types of uh, reciprocating files on so measure that to the working length you can see it's got this oscillating action uh, it runs in reverse so our cutting um, is 150 degrees anti-clockwise and then it gives that 30 degree um, unwind just to release any tension that might have built up in the file uh, great files because they can actually carry out almost all of the work that we need to do and again we introduce it already running into the root canal and it's we call it PEX. PEX makes it sound like it's uncontrolled. It's much more of a, of a gentle introduction until you get it binding. As soon as it binds, you just withdraw it a little bit. And when you withdraw it, you're always withdrawing it what's, what's called the safe side. So it's away from the furcation, always towards the name of the root canal. And you can see that's progressed really nicely already, probably actually to the working length. But we're just going to irrigate. We don't leave that file in there for too long because it can create loads of debris. So we irrigate. We make sure it's patent again. Get that size 10 measured again, measured to that zero point. Just bounce that in there, make sure uh, not much resistance to that now because we've done a nice bit of shaping already. Uh, these files that we have, it's a really, really lovely alloy. Uh, it allows us to put a bit of a bend in it so they're nice and flexible, but you'll sometimes see it kind of wobbles around a little bit because it will maintain a bend. Uh, and uh, we're just progressing that really nicely all the way down to our working length, and that hit that beautifully. So uh, just a, a, a a different view just to show you how we can use these files to create a bit more of a coronal flare. You can see how much pressure we can put on it and we're almost bending it, uh, preferentially using it so you push it against 
uh, away from the furcation towards the name of the root canal. So in that distal buckle, we're leaning that right up against the, the distal buckle and it just gives us a, a slightly better coronal flare just to allow that irrigant to progress exactly how we'd like it. Again, nice bit of irrigation. We'll go back in with our patency file, just check that that's still patent. Um, you need to make sure that we're always irrigating, lots and lots of irrigant, you can't over irrigate. Uh, keep that, uh, that needle of that um, irrigant in the top third, keep it moving, don't let it bind. And then we've got our matching GP, uh, these GP cones match beautifully uh, to our files. Uh, we take the GP in and as we would uh, in, in with the patient, we'd seat it down with our finger, make sure it's seated all the way down. Uh, once we're happy that's seated down, we then slide the tweezers down against the reference point, measure that, and you can see that spot on.